This video shows how to set up an electrical muscle stimulator for rehabilitation exercise purposes. It's not intended to replace professional advice. You must always be guided by your practitioner. Use the machine only as intended and according to instructions. Read the manual for the machine. Never let children handle or use the machine. Never use it as a toy to experiment with on your own or anyone else's body. There are a lot of machines to choose from for rehabilitation work using electrical muscle stimulation. For rehabilitation exercise, the current has to be alternating, not direct. One word of caution, a TENS machine will not do. Of the many different types you can choose from, it's best to look for one which is battery operated, compact, lightweight but sturdy so that it will last, and preferably one in which you can change the settings to suit your rehabilitation needs. I have used very many muscle stimulators in the course of my career, and in recent years I have been using the Neurotrack Sports Machine, which is lightweight but lasts a very long time if it's properly used, and fulfills all the criteria that I just mentioned. I order it in the normal way over the internet. I have to say I don't have any commercial links with the company which makes it and if I found one that I preferred, I would choose that instead. On the older version of the Neurotrack Sports, which has recently been replaced by a newer model, the main control buttons were on the front of the machine, including the on-off button, the program button through which you choose which program you want to work with, whether preset or custom set, and the intensity control buttons which turn the current up or down. The button which controls changing the settings is in the back of the machine in the battery compartment. This is different from the new machine where all the buttons are on the front of the machine. The muscle stimulator comes supplied with a battery but the battery is not fitted. So the first step is to open the back of the machine in order to put the battery inside. Then you can turn the machine on by pressing the on button obviously and scroll through the programs by pressing the program button under the on off button until you arrive at PC1 which is the first of the customizable programs. Press set firmly until you see the two little letters HZ in the top left hand corner flashing. This is the hertz rate, the pulses per second, at which the current operates. For rehabilitation work with muscles like the vastus medialis obliquus, it should be set to 40 or 50 hertz. I generally use 50 hertz. Press set again and the symbol below the Hertz symbol will start to flash. These are microseconds. This figure is not critical. It can stay at the default figure. I normally set it to 100. The next parameter is the time of each session. I normally set this to the maximum 59 minutes not because every session has to be that long, but because it allows you to choose when you will stop your session without being limited by the machine. Press set again, and the next parameter is the work time, the amount of time that the muscle will contract. This should be set to four seconds using the plus or minus keys on the right hand side of the machine. Press set again. Next comes the rest phase and it's very important that this should be longer than the work phase. 
I normally set it to 12 seconds so that it's three times as long as the work phase. Adjust the rest phase using the plus or minus keys on the right side of the machine. The remaining settings don't need to be adjusted. Simply scroll through by pressing set until the screen shows zero in the lower part, PC1 in the upper right and 50 in the upper left. Then press escape to finish programming. The Neurotrack is now ready to be used for rehabilitation exercise. To carry out the treatments, you need electrodes. This machine comes supplied with self-adhesive electrodes and gel for contact. I normally use rubber electrodes, which last longer, and then you have to have sponge material which is wetened to provide contact between the electrodes and the skin and in order to keep the electrodes in contact with the skin you need straps as well. And now everything is set for action.